Welcome to All Levels Yoga Practice. My name is Betty, and I will be your guide today. We'll begin by taking any comfortable seat. I'm sitting on a bolster. You might choose to sit on a folded up blanket or on a couple of yoga blocks, maybe on the lower, lower um, height, or even in a chair. Any comfortable seat that works for you to begin practice today is welcome. Here in this comfortable seat, we'll begin with a focus on the breath, finding some length in the spine, a softness in the face and jaw, and gently guiding your attention to the inhale and the exhale. Perhaps even silently saying inhale as you breathe in and exhale as you breathe out. If the mind begins to think and wander away, it's not a problem. It is the nature of the mind to think. Instead, when you notice the mind has wandered away, gently invite it back to the breath, the inflow and the outflow. If it works for you today, you're welcome to Breathe in and out through the nose, perhaps resting the tongue on the roof of the mouth, gently closing the lips, allowing the jaw to relax even in this closed position and draw the breath in and out through the nose as is possible for you. If open mouth breathing works better for you today, please choose that option. Four more breaths here. Three. Awareness to the breath, two. And one final breath here. Inviting some movement into the seat, dropping right ear towards right shoulder and drawing head center and ear to opposite shoulder. Gentle movement through the neck and top of the shoulder, ear to shoulder and center tilting the other way. You're welcome to sink breath with movement here if you choose. Inhale to one side. Exhale, center, tall seat. Inhale, second side. Exhale, center. Two more this way on your own. Inhaling to the side. Exhaling, center, if you choose. And one more round, right and left. And bringing head back to center in your tall seat, inviting a circle of the shoulders, if you like, forward and up and back and down. Forward and up and back and down. Option to sink breath by inhaling forward and up. Exhale back and down. Maybe three more circles this way. Here's three. And two. Opening up through the heart. Center space, through the shoulders, 
and one. When you're done with your three, softening shoulders from ears and bringing attention back to the chin, head and neck. We'll lift the chin gently skyward and then drop chin toward chest. Lifting your chin skyward and chin to chest. You are welcome to add breath to this. Inhale, lifting the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Maybe three more this way. Moving with your own flow of breath here. Here's three. And two. And one, drawing the head center when you're ready. And floating the arms wide and high overhead, as high as feels comfortable for you today. We'll drop one hand down to the side and take a side bend. Sometimes it feels better to move off your blanket, your bolster, your blocks. At this point, you're welcome to make adjustments if you'd like. Just experimenting, seeing what that feels like. We're leaning to one side and we're coming back to center. And hands skyward, drop the opposite hand toward the earth and lean to the side. Another option to explore is with the blocks. If you have some blocks handy or a, a thick book, something that's sturdy. You can practice this with a hand on a block in any height position here that works for you. So we're leaning to one side, hand skyward, and leaning second side. Invitation to add breath, inhale, hand skyward, exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, a lift of the crown of the head skyward, Exhale, lean second side. Feeling the seat grounded on the earth. Inhale, center. Exhale, and a lean. You're welcome to move and breathe separately if you choose as well, or sinking the breath one more to each side here. Inhaling, center. Exhale, lean. Inhale, center, exhale, lean. Now back to first side, we're side bending and we're holding here. Breathing for three, side bend for two. Connection from your seat all the way to your fingertips. And one, fingertips skyward, leaning the other way. Holding here this time for three. Inhale and exhale for two. And feeling that connection from seat to top fingertips. One more breath here. And coming back to center in an easy seat. From here, an invitation to bend the knees and plant the feet on the earth. Wrap hands behind the legs if that's accessible or hands to earth. We're rounding forward, chin toward the chest, curving through the spine. And then lifting heart, lifting chin in an arch of the spine. Round the spine. And a lift and an extension of the spine. Invitation to add breath here and exhale to round and inhale to lift. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, round the spine. Three more here and a seated cat cow. Inhale, extend, exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. One more on your own. Okay. 
And back to that tall seat, feet grounded, knees bent. I'll invite you to stretch the hands back behind you. Blocks are another great option here. We can support with hands under the blocks as well. And we're taking some knee waves, feet pretty wide, dropping the knees to one side. And coming back to center, dropping the knees the other way. Knees point skyward and then point to one side. Knees skyward and drop the knees the other way. Invitation to add some breath here. Inhale, the knees drop to one side. Exhale, knees center. Inhale, the knees drop away. Exhale, center. Inhale away. Exhale, center. Two more rounds on your own with your own breath as you choose. Inhale to one side, exhale, center. Inhale away. Exhale, center. One more, right and left. And then whatever side you've landed on, you're welcome to hold on that side. You might even walk the hands over into a gentle seated twist. You're welcome to adjust the legs further apart or closer together. Um, you might even choose to fold forward toward the floor, resting on elbows, hands. You might bring the forehead all the way down to the hands. Find a twist, gentle twist hold here that feels good for your body. We'll be here for four breaths. Three. Maybe coming back to the inhale and the exhale breath as we hold. Maybe resting the tongue gently on the roof of the mouth. Evenly breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Invitation for one more breath here. And we're coming back to center, second side. So the knees drop the other way. Same options, the legs can come closer together, further apart. You're welcome to walk the hands over. And resting here, hands on blocks, on the earth. You could come down to the elbows, or maybe even rest forehead on the backs of the hands. Find a twist position that works for your body on the second side. We're here for four breaths. Breathing here for four. Easy twist for two. One more inhale and exhale breath here. And coming back to center, an invitation to walk all the way around to tabletop hands and knees, grounding hands under shoulders, knees under hips. It might be helpful here to get a little extra padding under the knees with a blanket or a folded up mat. So you're welcome to add that extra padding under the knees or under the hands if that works for your body today. Here in tabletop hands and knees, we'll feel a press of fingertips into the earth. Gentle press of the tops of the feet or tucking the toes and pressing the toes down to the mats, feeling grounded through the limbs. Take an inhale breath here and exhale, opposition raise, right arm and left leg start to float away from the earth. Fingers and toes might tap on the earth here. You might lift them all the way up away from the earth. Choose what works best for you and then float all limbs back to the earth. Second side, 
pressing into fingertips, pressing into tops of feet or toes. Inhale, breath. And exhale, opposition raise, second side. Left hand, right toes. Tapping on the earth here. They might, the limbs might float away. Find an opposition raise that works best for you. And then grounding limbs to the earth. Adding some breath and flow movement if you choose. Inhale, first side, right arm, left leg, floating or tapping on the earth. Exhale, float down. Inhale, second side, left arm, right leg, floating up away, opposition raise. And releasing down, alternating sides. Inhale, first side, opposition raise. Exhale and release. Second side, inhale, opposition raise. Exhale and release. Two more here, inhale, float. Exhale, ground. Second side, inhale, float up. Exhale and ground. Last round, we're lifting and holding. Here for four. Energy out through fingers and toes. Two, three. Two more breaths here. When you're ready to move out, maybe one more breath here. It's up to you. Or you might meet in a tabletop when you're ready. And easing on down. Second side, it's a lift and a hold for four breaths or up to four breaths. Your choice here, four. Inhale and exhale for three. Energy out through fingers and toes, two. And one, easing limbs back to the earth. Pause here for a breath. And you're welcome to come to standing any way you like, or you might tuck your toes under, walk hands back towards the knees, come to a forward fold with a pretty deep knee bend here, and rolling up to standing. From here, making our way to a mountain pose on the mat, feet at comfortable distance apart, maybe fanning the toes here. Here in mountain, <clears throat> we might roll the palms forward for a moment, and we'll do a little bit of work through the joints before we get into some standing poses. So inhale the hands wide overhead, and exhale, we're going to circle the wrist down, just circling the wrist down here, a few times on the way down, we'll do that three more times, inhale the arms overhead, Exhale and circle the wrist down. Feeling the feet grounding to the earth. Two more here, inhale up. Exhale, circle the wrist down. And one more round here, inhale up. Exhale and circle the wrist down. Working a bit through the ankles and feet. We'll lift the right heel away, and then ground the heel down. Second side, lift opposite heel away, and ground down. A few more to each side, lift the heel, and ground. Second side, lift, and ground. Two more to each side, working through the foot and ankle, and one more right and left using your own breath here, inhale and exhale. And then grounding equally through the feet. We'll put the weight onto the right foot and maybe tap the toes on the mat, the opposite toes on the mat here. You might roll the ankle around maybe five times in one direction. And then five times the other way. Waking up through the ankle joint. And then grounding both feet down, shifting the weight to the other foot, tapping the toes, opposite toes on the mat, and then rolling through the other ankle. Here's five, five, four, 
three, maybe two more circles here. And five circles the other way. Maybe two more. And one, grounding on down. Back to mountain pose. Pause here in your mountain. Toes and fingers spread wide. Inhale the arms wide overhead. Option to interlace the fingers here. Flip the palms skyward and take a big stretch. Heels of the palms and heels of the feet pressing away from each other, almost as if you could lift the ceiling or the sky in your space here. Pausing here for a few breaths. Here for three. Option to release the fingers at any time. Two. And one, softening the hands down to the sides. Maybe a roll the shoulders here. Option to add some flow, some side bend here. Inhale the arms overhead. Option to interlace the fingers. Exhale, we're leaning to one side. Inhale, center. Option to lean the other way. Inhale, center. And exhale, float the hands down. Two more rounds here. Inhale the arms overhead. You're welcome to interlace the fingers. Exhale, we lean one way. You could also drop the bottom arm toward the leg if that feels good. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean the other way. Inhale, center. And exhale, float the arms down. Last round this way. Inhale overhead. Interlace the fingers or not. Your choice. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean the other way. Inhaling, center. And exhale to a forward fold, bending the knees deeply, maybe walking the hands down the legs for forward folding here. You might let the head hang heavy or you can keep the head lifted. Forearms or hands resting on thighs, shins, some blocks in any of the height positions here could be a great place to rest the hands. Maybe a bend in the knees as we hang here in forward fold. Here for a couple of breaths. From here, a halfway lift, the pressing into shins, into tops of legs or to blocks, lifting to a long spine here, feeling a lift through the low belly, through the abdomen to support the spine. And then a forward fold. A chair pose is next, bending the knees and sitting back into an imaginary chair. You can bring the hands to tops of legs, heart center or stretch the arms overhead here for just a breath inhale and then exhale back to your forward fold option to add some breath and flow inhale that halfway lift of choice exhale forward fold inhale to your chair of choice Exhale, return forward fold. Maybe two more rounds this way. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose of choice. Exhale, forward fold. Option for one more round this way. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. And exhale, forward fold. And pause in that forward fold. And up to standing any way you like. Maybe walking hands up the legs or body, rolling up to that tall mountain pose. Heading into 
a triangle pose next. So we'll walk the feet pretty wide and then we'll go right. So right toes turn out, left toes point toward the long edge of your mat or space. And I have some blocks handy here. You can place a block maybe in the tall position, front or back of the leg. Um, if you'd like to use a block here. And then ankling the back foot maybe slightly inward. We're stretching the arms long, leaning towards the front leg. Maybe a bend in that front knee. And then tipping over, we can drop hand to thigh, forearm to thigh, or to the shin, maybe to the block or the foot. Top hand stretches skyward. We're finding a nice long spine, some deep breaths here in triangle pose. You might choose to look up towards your top thumb if that feels good. We're here for three. Inhale and exhale for two. One more breath in triangle. And looking down towards the earth, we're lifting up out of triangle pose, hands to the waist here, or down by the sides. We'll just walk the feet over the other way. So feet pretty wide. This time the left toes turn out, right toes point toward the long edge of your mat. Option to place that block front or back of the foot if you're using a block today. Stretch the arms long. Back foot could angle slightly inward. We're leaning towards the front leg. Maybe a bend in that front knee. And then bringing hand or forearm to the leg, shin to the block. Top hand stretches skyward. Maybe rolling the gaze towards the top thumb. Here in triangle for three breaths. Here for three. Inhale and exhale for two. Maybe one more breath here. Option to roll the gaze down towards the front foot, lifting up out a triangle pose. Maybe hands to waist or down by the sides. We'll walk the feet back to the other side. We'll take triangle pose variation back to the first side, setting up with your block if you need, stretching the arms long leaning into the front foot. We're tipping into our triangle pose of choice. Options here in triangle. You might stay here in stillness. You might choose to take the top arm up and over, so bicep close by the ear. Or you might choose to circle the arm, letting the arm fall all the way down towards the earth, stretching back and skyward. Breathing here, maybe three circles through the arm or three breaths holding in your triangle of choice. Maybe one more breath here with a circle or with a hold. And when you're done with your practice of triangle, easing on out of that triangle pose, walking the feet second side, round two. Setting up, arms stretching wide, tipping into your triangle pose of choice. No option to stay here in stillness. You might choose to take that top arm up and over, bicep close by the ear. Or you could add some movement, letting the hand drop all the way down toward the earth, back and skyward. Circling the arm or breathing here for three breaths. And when you're done with your triangle, practice on this side. We're easing on out of that triangle pose. Coming back to center. Toes pointing towards the long end of your mat or the long edge of your space, feet pretty wide. We're moving into a forward fold. So softening down into your forward fold, hands can rest on the legs, shins, earth, or on some blocks in any height position. The head can rest heavy or stay lifted, your choice. 
here for a few breaths and wide leg forward fold. Knees can bend as much as you like here. Easy forward fold. Perhaps coming back to the breath. If you're breathing through your nose, notice the flow of breath in and out of the nostrils. Notice the rise and fall of the abdomen, the rib cage. Maybe one more breath here in wide forward fold. And easing on out of that forward fold, we'll heel toe the feet together. And it's a transition down to our tabletop hands and knees any way you like. Um, again, option to add some additional padding under the knees, the wrists, the blanket with the folded up mat. Setting up in tabletop hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees stacked under hips. Here in our tabletop, you're welcome to stay here or you could tuck the toes press into the earth and then hover the knees away from the earth just for a few moments and then ground down. If you'd like to explore more, you could walk the hands a little forward and do a hover and a push up and back to downward facing dog. The hips stretching up and back, creating an upside down V shape with the body. Knees can bend as much as you like here. The heels reach toward the earth. They might not touch though. And we're pressing and lifting up out of the fingertips and wrists. Here for just another breath in your hover or your down dog. And we're releasing back to tabletop here, back to table. And then down to um, the abdomen, any way you like, any way you like, down to the abdomen here for a cobra pose. Floating the heart center away from the earth. Tops of the feet ground down. Feeling a stretch out through the crown of the head and the toes. Here in cobra pose for three. Draw the shoulders down from the ears two. Even elbows reaching back toward the space behind you as the heart center shines forward and up. And one, easing on out of that cobra pose. Back to tabletop, or you might move back to a child's pose. Uh, big toes together, knees can be wide or close together. Hips sink back and we stretch the hips back and down. Some options for using the blocks here. The blocks can be underneath the hands in any height position here that works for you. You might also use a block to rest the forehead, again, in any height position. So take a moment to rest in your child's pose or your tabletop, maybe using the blocks in a way that works for you if you choose. Here for one more breath. We're heading back to tabletop, grounding hands under the shoulders. You might choose to tuck the toes here, an option to hover the knees or pick the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Here for round two. On your table or your down dog, maybe three or four deep breaths here. Soft through the knees, lifting up and out through the fingertips and wrists. In through the nose, out through the nose, if that's accessible today. Maybe two more breaths. And one more breath. Grounding the feet back down. Heading down to the abdomen, any way you like. Cobra pose, second round. 
Tops of the feet ground down, heart center lifts away. And you can pause here with the hands and elbows grounded to the earth. If you like, you could stretch the arms long behind you. And if it's accessible, if you like, interlace the fingers at the low back and maybe stretch the knuckles behind you, lifting up through the heart center. Here in Cobra for up to three breaths. Inhale and exhale for three. Your version of Cobra pose here, two. Maybe one more breath here. And easing on out, maybe releasing the hands to your child's pose of choice. Tabletop could also be a resting position here. You could also rest in crocodile pose if you like. That's lying on the belly with the hands resting or stacked forehead to hands. Child's pose, crocodile pose, tabletop, any resting posture that's gonna work for you. So find that resting posture and take two or three deep breaths here. Perhaps taking this moment of rest to gently guide awareness back to the body and breath. Sensing into the space that holds your thoughts, that holds your sensations, that space of awareness. Maybe one more breath here in your resting posture of choice. And we're easing on out of that resting posture. And we're coming up for one more standing pose here. Um, so coming up to standing any way you like. One more sequence here. We're walking the feet pretty wide toward the long edge of the mat here. Um, and setting up for a warrior two feet. So right toes maybe turn out, left toes painting or pointing towards the long edge of the mat. We're bending into the front knee into a warrior two leg. Knee stacked over the ankle, arms stretch long. Maybe looking over the front middle finger here, breathing here in warrior two for three. Here for two. One more inhale and exhale breath. And you're welcome to add some movement here if you choose. Stretching the front leg. The front hand flips skyward and we reach back in a reverse warrior variation. And then sink back into warrior two. Maybe adding some breath. Inhale your reverse. Exhale and sink down. Maybe one more this way. Inhale, reverse. Exhale and sink, warrior two and pause. From here, option to bring hand to the top of the leg or the forearm. You could reach the hand towards the earth or toward the block. Back arm up and over. Bicep might come close by the ear and side angle pose. Option to stay here. Three breaths here for three. Inhale and exhale for two. Maybe one more breath here. And easing out of that pose. We're walking the feet the other way. So this time, right toes point away. Left toes point in and we're bending in. So second side, second side here. Um, whatever your second side is. Front knee stacked over front ankle, arms stretch long and warrior two. Sinking in, sensing into this pose. Gaze over the front middle finger if that feels good. 
here in warrior two for three deep breaths. Me two more breaths on your own. An option for a variation here, stretching the front leg, flipping the front palm, and reach back to a reverse warrior variation. And sinking back in warrior two legs. You might add some breath, inhale and stretch, exhale and sink. One more that way, inhale, reverse, exhale and sink in, pause here. You might bring hand to the top of the leg or forearm. Your hand might reach to a block or to the earth. Back arm, option to lift up and over. Maybe the bicep comes close by the ear. We're here in side angle for three breaths or up to three breaths, moving out when you're ready, but maybe three breaths here. Inhale and exhaling for two. And one. Easing out of that posture, maybe heel toeing the feet together here. And it's a roll of the shoulders, maybe a wobble of the legs. We're coming down to the mat in our seated position. This time, uh, back to our feet grounded, knees bent, um, knee wave position. And we're dropping the knees to one side. And back to center and knees the other way and back to center. Option to add some breath here. Easy knee wave side to side. Maybe one more to each side here. And bringing knees to center. So you're welcome to cross one leg over the other. So ankle over the top of the leg. And you can add additional stretch if you need it by scooting the heel in towards the glute or the glute in towards the heel. If you prefer to take this stretch lying on your back, you're welcome to come down to your back and take that same stretch lying down, wrapping the hands behind the thigh. So a seated, figure four stretch or a lying down figure four stretch here. We'll be here for six breaths. Sensing into some stretch and release through the outer hip. Sensing into the flow of breath. Two more breaths on your own. When you're ready, easing out of that stretch, uncrossing the legs. And we're taking that over to the other side. So whether you're seated or lying down, we're crossing opposite ankle over opposite leg. So coming into that second side stretch. If you are seated, you can add some stretch by scooting the heel in towards the glute or glute in towards the heel. And if you're taking this on your side or on your rather lying on your back, wrapping the hands behind the thigh drawing the legs into the body for a stretch. Here for six breaths. Sensing into a gentle stretching sensation in the opposite hip.
noticing the in and out breath. Two more breaths on your own. And when you're ready, easing out of that stretch. And if you're not on your back already, making your way down to your back and taking a big stretch, hands and feet, stretching to opposite ends of the space. And maybe grounding the feet down, setting up for bridge pose. So heels pretty close to the glutes and feet a comfortable distance apart. Walk your shoulder blades underneath you a little bit to feel a broadening through the front of the heart center space. Arms by the sides, palms down. And then pressing the hips skyward. Feeling some support through the glutes, through the core. Option to interlace the fingers underneath the body. Maybe roll the shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more. You might gently tuck the chin, but feel a sense of length in the neck here, even as the hips are lifting skyward. Here in bridge pose, opening through the front of the hip, through the front of the heart. Up to three more breaths here. Here's two. And one, maybe releasing the hands from underneath you if they are, and then coming down to the mat. Option to hug the knees into the chest, and maybe a rock from side to side, if that feels good for your low back and sacrum. Stretching to a full body stretch, hands and feet lengthen out to opposite ends of the space. One final posture here, a supine twist or a lying down twist. We'll bend the knees, feet grounded, and arms can come out to a cactus shape or sort of a bent elbow shape or long arms. Um, we'll drop the knees to one side. Now the feet can be wide here or close together. You make a choice about what's going to work best for you. Drop the knees to one side and then roll the gaze away from the knees. Adjust the shoulders, the head and neck. Maybe lift up the hips and adjust the hips to find a comfortable releasing twist here. Softening into this twist for a few breaths on your own. Noting a sense of gravity in the body, a supportiveness of the earth beneath you. And noticing if any additional softening is possible here. Softening of the body and softening of the grip on the mind. You're ready to transition, switching sides. So the knees will drop the opposite direction. Same options here. Knees can be close together, or knees can be wide. Arms could be bent elbows, or you might 
stretch the arms long. Option to roll the gaze away from the knees and then adjust. You might pick up and adjust the shoulders, adjust the neck and head, maybe lift up the hips and adjust the hips to find a comfortable twist on the second side. Here on second side, settling in. Seeing if you can sense into some gravity working on the body. The earth supporting, holding you. Notice if it's possible for some softening here today. Softening through the body and through the mind. And when you're ready, easing out of that twist, maybe taking one final full body stretch here, hands and feet lengthening to opposite ends of the space. Moving into our final posture of practice, our relaxation pose or Shavasana, maybe bringing the arms down by the sides, um, just away from the body with the palms skyward, tucking the shoulder blades underneath you, centering the head. The legs can be long, just rolling open here. Some options to explore. You might bend the knees, feet to the earth, and then drop the knees in toward each other to support the low back. You might also find that a side lying position, lying on the abdomen face down, or a seated position feels more restful for you today. You're welcome to explore any of these options for your practice, settling in to our final rest. Maybe softening the gaze or closing the eyes if that feels safe for you here. And drawing attention inward for one more moment. An inhale breath. Exhale breath. Now letting it go of focused attention and awareness. Allowing that attention to just be open, soft. Sensing into the space and stillness. That may be there for you today that sense of release and letting go. I'll be silent for about two minutes here to allow you to continue your practice of relaxation. And when you hear my voice again, we'll be closing our practice.
here in your practice of Shavasana, your relaxation pose, you might begin to draw in some deeper inhales and exhales. Perhaps bringing some movement into fingers and toes, some gentle movements there. And if a full body stretch might feel good, you might stretch arms and legs to opposite ends of the space. Big full body stretch here. If you're not there already, I'll invite you to roll to one side and just pause there in a sideline position. Find something that's comfortable for the neck and the shoulder, the hips, a supported sideline position. Feeling the earth beneath you, the softness of the breath and body, if that is what's there for you or noticing what is showing up. And then with ease and gentleness without rush, begin to make your way to a tall seat, feeling some length in the spine. Any comfortable seat is welcome here. And if you like, you might draw palms together, thumbs toward the heart center space in an, a moment of acknowledgement for your presence, your energy, your practice today for taking care of yourself. Gratitude, thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with me. Appreciate it. <laughs>